My name is Lisa, and I'm a stay-at-home wife living with my husband, Noah, his parents, and Noah's younger brother, Senta. Though Noah and I are newlyweds, we decided after talking it over to live together with his family. Hey Lisa, I can't seem to find one of my socks. Is it the gray one? I think it fell behind the laundry basket. I washed and hung it to dry with today's laundry. You're the best. Thanks, you really saved me. You know, if you just tossed them in the basket properly, you wouldn't keep losing them. Santa's always been like that, ever since he was a kid. But at least it was found, right? Life with the family had been peaceful, just like this. Then one day, both Noah and my father-in-law were scheduled for long-term business trips. Sorry, but I'll be away for a while. Senta, make sure you take care of things, okay? No problem at all. With Mom and Lisa around, there's nothing for me to do anyway. Still, you should at least help out with the chores sometimes. We've got two stay-at-home wives here, so Senda can just do his usual, no need for extra work. Really? I'm going to miss Lisa though. We're still newlyweds, you know? You'll be back when it's over. Until then, I'll be here with your mom and Senta. If anything happens, call me right away, okay? I will. Thanks, Noah. And with that, Noah and my father-in-law left for their long business trips. I had no real worries, as things had been going smoothly since we started living together. However, once it was just me, my mother-in-law, and Senta, their attitudes suddenly changed. Lisa, I'm getting rid of this big shelf, so can you take it apart for me? Once you've taken it apart, bundle it all up and take it out to the trash, okay? Wait, this shelf? Yes, that one. Hurry up now, will you? Hey, my room's a mess. Can you clean it for me? Uh, okay, I got it. Just like that, my mother-in-law and Santa started dumping all the chores and errands on me. On top of that, they even began asking me for money, leaving me feeling very troubled. Then, one day... Hey! This is kind of sudden, but I got engaged, so I'm bringing my fiancé over soon to introduce her. What? Senta, you're getting married? Congratulations. Thanks. Her name's Yuka. She's pretty cute, you know. Kind of like a girl out of my league. Oh, Yuka is amazing. She comes from a very prestigious family, and she's just such a wonderful person. She's from a good family? That's impressive. It's a special day, so we're going to invite both your father-in-law and Noah too. Lisa, I need you to handle all the preparations for the event. It's a once-in-a-lifetime occasion, so no slacking. Do a great job, okay? Yes, I understand. Senta's engagement was set, and his fiancé would be coming over soon. My mother-in-law seemed really pleased with Senta's choice. A few days later, I received a sudden message from my sister, Emma, saying, Mom's not feeling well. Worried, I asked my mother-in-law and Senta if I could go home to visit, but... What? You want to visit your parents' house? What kind of nonsense are you talking about? Of course, you can't go back to your family. That's out of the question. Yeah, seriously. Trying to slack off like that. What's up with that? Wait. I can't go? But my mother's not feeling well. Listen, Lisa, you're our daughter-in-law now, understand. You can't just leave this house whenever you feel like it. I can't believe how clueless you are. How could you not understand something so basic? But I'd only be gone for a few days. It doesn't matter when you'd come back. The problem is that you're leaving it all. Besides, if you're gone, who's going to take care of everything in the house? Couldn't you and mom handle it while I'm away? Are you kidding me? You're telling me to do chores? Don't be ridiculous. Lisa, do you even realize? The rights to a daughter-in-law belong to this family. Got it. You married into this family and that's why you are not allowed to visit your parents. But my mother... Eck, stop being so persistent. I don't care about your parents' situation. Instead of talking, go finish the rest of your chores. Exactly. Oh, and since I'm hungry, make me something to eat while you're at it. This is, please, just let me go home, even if it's just for a little while. Didn't I say no already? Besides, no one's waiting for you at your parents' house anyway, not your sister, not your parents. Yeah, instead of wasting time going back there, why don't you focus on your duties as a wife and take care of things here? After being told all of that, I decided to call my sister Emma. 
I explained the situation and asked her to take care of our mother for the time being, while I set a plan in motion. One month later. It was the day of Senta's formal engagement introduction, and he brought his fiancé, Yuka, to our home. Let me introduce you. This is my fiancé, Yuka. Nice to meet you. I'm Senna's father. I'm Senna's mother. Thank you so much for coming today. Nice to meet you. I'm the eldest son, Noah, and this is my wife, Lisa. Nice to meet you, Yuka. I'm Noah's wife, Lisa, the one whose mother is ill, but... I can't go back home because my in-laws claim ownership over me and won't allow me to visit my family. Wait, what? Yuma is sick. Yes. But I'm not allowed to visit her. Not allowed to visit? What's going on here? What's this about? Oh my goodness. What a troublesome thing to bring up now, Lisa dear. Hada. It's just that Lisa has misunderstood everything completely. What? Mom, explain this clearly. I was just trying to help her become a better wife, that's all. But I guess I failed, and I've been quite upset about it really. So, are you saying that Lisa's lying? Of course she is, Yuka. Don't doubt your fiancé like that. Exactly, Yuka dear, you can trust Senna 100%. I guarantee it. What I meant by all this is that we just want Lisa to stay with us and be a part of our family. But refusing to let her visit her mother is just wrong. Oh, Noah, dear, Lisa married into this family. She's our daughter-in-law now. And running home for no good reason is just her being overly dependent. I have a perfectly good reason. I explained that my mother is unwell. After hearing my words, Senta and my mother-in-law. Oh, that's news to me. Lisa, your mother isn't feeling well? Senta and I had no idea about that, did we, Senta? This is the first I'm hearing of it too. All we heard was that you wanted to go home. Lisa, if you had a real reason, why didn't you say so from the start? You didn't explain it properly, so how are we supposed to just say yes? What's with this awkward conversation between you two? It feels so fake. And normally, if someone's going back to their parents' house, they'd explain why, right? Especially Lisa, she's not the kind of person who just leave for no reason to have fun. I'm telling you, we didn't hear any of that. Exactly. The fact that neither of us heard it is all the proof you need, right? Even after listening to this audio recording, can you still claim you didn't hear anything from my sister? Oh my, what is this audio recording? That's not me and Senda talking. Wait a minute. You're Lisa's sister, Emma, right? Why are you even here? Yep, yeah, that's me, the same Emma you're talking about. And the reason I'm here is because I came to help my sister when she needed me the most. Isn't that reason enough? But what about that recording we just heard? Well, I recorded that conversation back then and sent it to Emma before I could explain. Wait a minute. The story Lisa told us about being controlled by her in-laws. That was the truth, wasn't it? Lisa's telling the truth. Hey, mother and Senta. What on earth have you two been doing? Not letting her visit her mother when she's unwell. I can't believe this. Lisa, you must have been so worried. Yes, thank you for understanding. I'm so glad someone finally does. You too. What have you been doing to Lisa while Noah and I were away? After being severely scolded by my father-in-law, Senta, and my mother-in-law. Um, so well, that is. It's because Lisa didn't properly tell us the reason she wanted to go back to her parents' home. You fools! Don't make such disgraceful excuses! Lisa, go home with Emma right away and check on your mother. Thank you, father-in-law and Noah. Thanks to you, her condition is stable now. So it's okay for today. Really? Oh, thank goodness. That's a relief to hear. But Lisa, I'm sorry I didn't notice. It must have been tough for you. Emma, thank you so much for telling us. We've done something inexcusable to your dear sister. No, it's okay. I'm just glad you and Noah understand. Wait a minute. Shouldn't I be the one being thanked here? I'm the one who told Emma to take care of things at home, right? Thanks to that, Emma was able to look after her mother. Mother-in-law? Are you serious? Please stop lying like that already. Neither mom nor I are lying, right? Besides, you're just freeloading in your husband's house, so keep quiet. What is this? If I marry Senta, will I be treated like this too? No way. Yuka, your situation is totally different, so don't worry. That's not true. This is very important, so I'll tell you, Yuka. Trust me, you shouldn't marry Senta. Hey, what are you saying? He's only kind now. 
As soon as the family's not around, his attitude changes. He'll make you do all the housework, and you won't even be able to go out freely. Visiting your parents will be even more impossible. Hey! Don't fill Yuka's head with lies. Cut it out. Then what about this recording? Saying that, I played a certain audio recording. And then... Wait a minute, what was that? That was Senta's voice, right? He clearly said, Yuka's easy, so as long as I keep complimenting her, I'll be fine, didn't he? Senta, what's going on here? The story about Lisa's family was a lie from you and your mom, and now this recording is obviously making fun of me. No, 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 you've got it all wrong. I didn't mean it like that at all. Okay, I get it. I know it could sound like I was making fun of you, but that's not what I meant. I only said that because you're so cute. That's the real reason. I have no idea what you're talking about. I can't believe this. Oh, is this what they call bride bullying? Yuka, bingo. Imagine what kind of life you'd have if you married someone like this. Even though it's my brother, I have to admit marrying him is just asking for trouble. Honestly, dad and I were just as shocked by how much Senna and mom have changed. Wait, even you and your father are shocked. Their behavior is completely different when we're not around. I'm horrified by what I'm seeing now. This is unbelievable. Changing your attitude depending on who's around. That's the worst. If I had known what kind of mother-in-law I'd be dealing with, I'd never consider marrying into this family. I believe Lisa now. I'm calling off the engagement. This wedding is over. Wait. Please, hold on. This is all just a misunderstanding. Enough with the lies. The way you've treated Lisa, the things you've said, it's all unforgivable. I can't marry someone who can't be honest and respectful. There's no way I'm going through with this wedding. With that, Yuka gave a polite nod to me, Noah, and my father-in-law, and then left. Seeing this, Senta and my mother-in-law were clearly panicked. Hold on a second, what the hell have you done? I was supposed to marry Yuka and live the high life without ever having to work again. Exactly. You even have some weird audio prepared. How are you going to fix this? Our dream life has been ruined. And it's all Lisa's fault. Oh, shut up. My sister didn't do anything wrong. I know my sister, she definitely told you that our mom wasn't feeling well. And yet you lied and made up excuses. What do you even think of my sister? You're so loud. One day when you get married, you'll be in the same situation. Jin's parents would never stoop to the disgusting things you two are doing. Don't compare us to people like you. You'll never know what it's really like until you're married, you know? Exactly. Situations change and no one can predict when or how, right? Enough. You've mistreated Lisa, and now you're being rude to Emma too. What kind of life have you been living while Dad and I were away? No, oh, nothing special. We've just been living the way we always do. Yeah, nothing changes just because you and Dad weren't around. How long are you going to keep spouting such nonsense? I've had enough of both of you. I'm divorcing your mother. People who don't value family have no place in this house. Divorce. At my age, you want to divorce me. And Senna too. I'm cutting ties with both of you. I'm done being part of this family. Lisa, no is saying all this. You have to do something. He said he's cutting ties with us. Fix this, will you? I agree with Noah and father-in-law, so I won't be helping you two at all. After being told they'd be divorced and cut off, Senta and my mother-in-law. Please, anything but divorce. I can't live alone at my age. Too bad. Living alone means you won't have anyone to complain about, so it'll be much less stressful for me. Bro, don't cut me off. If you do that, I won't have anyone to help me when I'm in trouble. It's time for you to grow up. I'm done helping you, from now on you're on your own. Exactly. Once you're cut off, we don't have to help you anymore since you'll be strangers to us. Come on, Emma, don't say that. Being cut off is a big deal. This is the perfect opportunity. Take this time to reflect deeply and regret your actions. Lisa, I'm sorry for the way I treated you when your father-in-law and Noah weren't around. And? It doesn't matter anymore. I'm cutting ties, so apologies don't mean much to me now. I'll apologize too. You can go visit your parents anytime you want from now on. So you did oppose Lisa going back to her family. We won't stop you anymore. You can go wherever you like, anytime. Enough. You two are completely interest-worthy. Now pack your things and get out of here. Please don't say that. 
I'll get along with Lisa from now on, I promise. But my sister doesn't care anymore, right? Exactly. Emma's right. I want nothing more to do with either of you. Please, bro, dad, forgive us. I'll apologize to Lisa properly. I'll apologize too, sincerely. Just let us stay a family. It's too late for that. Your apologies mean nothing now. Lisa, I'm begging you, please forgive us. I won't. Now hurry up and pack your things before the sun sets. Afterward, Senta was officially dumped by Yuka, and my in-laws divorced. Senta and my mother-in-law were promptly kicked out of the house. They rented an apartment together, scraping by with part-time jobs. But with Senta's lazy habits and my mother-in-law having been a housewife for so long, neither of them was suited for work, and nothing changed despite them being together. They couldn't keep a job, their income was unstable, and even with saving, life remained tough. And so, Senta and my mother-in-law lost their wonderful family and home, and now live miserable lives. As for me... I see, so Emma couldn't make it today. Yes, but she asked me to send her regards to you. Well, next time we'll invite her to join us for dinner. That's a great idea. If your mother is feeling better by then, she should come too. Really? That would make her so happy. Since then, Noah and I have continued living at my in-law's house, but now Senta and my mother-in-law are gone. My father-in-law is kind and thoughtful, and he sometimes helps out around the house. The more time I spent with him, the more I realized how similar Noah is to his father in personality. I feel so fortunate to live with such a loving family. I can't help but imagine how much my father-in-law will dote on a future grandchild if Noah and I ever have kids. The thought of expanding our family fills me with excitement. I'm still a newlywed and just starting out as a housewife, but I'm determined to do my best and start from what I can manage. With that goal in mind uh, today, I'm enjoying another wonderful day with my beloved Noah and my kind father-in-law, cherishing the time we spend together. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.